All right, picture this. It's Tuesday, the aroma of lunch in the air, and there's a buzz of chatter among your friends. Then it happens. That feeling. The gut twist. The bully's in sight. Pause. Stop. Take a breath. We've got this. This isn't another run-of-the-mill bullying advice. This is a toolkit, backed by solid research, that's going to equip you to turn the tables on bullies. Get rid of it! First, let's talk about understanding the bully. Know this, bullies aren't like the wicked witches or fire-breathing dragons in fairy tales. They're real people, with real insecurities. It's like a twisted defense mechanism for them, where putting others down makes them feel more powerful. Crazy, right? That's what Dr. Dan Alwius, a psychologist from Norway, found out in his pioneering research on bullying. Now, let's switch gears to assertiveness. I'm not talking about squaring up to them, no. We're talking about standing your ground, confidently, without aggression. Think Wonder Woman, without the lasso and the fancy boots. A study from the University of Texas in 2016 showed that kids who practiced assertiveness were less likely to be victimized. Next up, building support networks. Picture a fortress, but made of friends, family, and trusted adults. This network is your haven, your source of strength. As Dr. Deborah Timken from Child Trends Research suggests, support from loved ones dramatically lowers the impacts of bullying. How about documenting the incidents? Ever thought your life could be like a detective story? Well, documenting bullying incidents is like gathering evidence to nab the culprit. Who, what, when, where, and how. Jot down everything, and don't forget any screenshots or emails. They're all pieces of the puzzle that'll help adults step in. Now, remember to report the bullying. I know it might feel like tattling, but remember this is about your safety. Schools, workplaces, they have policies. And you're entitled to be safe. Just like Professor Stuart Twomlow from Meninger Clinic suggests, effective reporting can, and does, curb bullying. Lastly, practice self-care. What's that you ask? It's doing things you love, spending time with people who lift you up, or simply taking a quiet moment to breathe. As the Harvard Medical School underscores, self-care is critical to healing and resilience. Oh, hey, before we forget, give a thumbs up if you found this useful, share with those who could use it, and drop a comment about your own experiences or thoughts. We learn better together, don't we? And remember, no bully has the right to steal your shine. If you know someone in need of this toolkit, share it, spread the knowledge. As always, thanks for tuning in, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more empowering content. We're all in this together, and together, we're unstoppable. See you in the next video, and until then, stay strong, stay positive, and keep that shine on.